ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, detecting the COVID-19 virus via your voice using AI. But first... There's wonders in this world beyond our wandering. Amazon puts a three-day pause on reviews for its new TV show, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. According to reports, the tactic is being used to help prevent online trolls from review bombing, where a large number of people, or a few with multiple accounts, post negative user reviews online in an attempt to harm the sales or popularity of a product, service, or business. An Amazon representative told Variety that it put the policy in place to give the service time to evaluate whether a user review comes from an actual viewer, not a bot or troll looking to hijack the reviews section. However, this still doesn't stop the Rings of Power from getting review bombed on other websites like Rotten Tomatoes and the Amazon-owned IMDb. The series currently has a general audience rating of 34% on Rotten Tomatoes, while 24% of reviewers on IMDb gave it one star. The UK government is forcing crypto exchanges to report suspected sanction breaches. It comes over concerns that Bitcoin and other crypto assets are being used to dodge restrictions imposed in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Under the rules, crypto exchanges must immediately act if they suspect that one of their customers is under sanctions or if they suspect a breach of sanctions, giving them similar obligations to professionals such as estate agents, accountants, lawyers and jewellers. Now. A study suggests that primate behaviour changed when zoos were closed during the pandemic. We found that some of the species were spending more time resting, some spending more time alone when the zoos were closed, and then we were seeing some were spending um, the baboons, the olive baboons, and those in the safari were performing more sexual and dominance behaviours. The chimpanzees were um, they were eating more and they were engaging more with their enclosures when the zoo reopened. That's Dr. Ellen Williams, lecturer in animal behaviour and welfare at Harper Adams University. She's the project lead of the study, which involved a team from Nottingham Trent University, the University of Wolverhampton, Twycross Zoo and Nosley Safari. Dr. Williams says that although they did see behavioural changes, it wasn't clear-cut as to whether opening or closing had a positive or negative impact on the animals. I guess the thing to note is that the gorillas moved away from the area that was closest to the public, but they didn't have any overt negative behavioural indicators, which suggests to us that actually the gorillas are, are moving and kind of taking control over their own environment. And the fact that their enclosure offers them that opportunity is really important for welfare. The next steps in the research involve looking at whether there are things happening with the animals on an individual level. A COVID app is being developed that can detect the virus from people's voices using AI, and it's said to be more accurate than lateral flow tests. The yet-to-be peer-reviewed research for the app will be presented today at the European Respiratory Society International Congress in Barcelona. Reports say the AI model was accurate 89% of the time. Now be honest, do you ever struggle to work out how much battery you have left on your phone? Well, things could be about to get easier. Rumour has it that Apple's iPhone 14 Pro models might revive its old battery percentage indicator. You know, the simpler one where you had the percentage next to the battery symbol. An alleged mock-up of the device's interface has been shared with Mac rumours. We won't have to wait too much longer to find out the exact details anyway. Apple's Far Out event is on the 7th of September. Coming up, why a couple staying on the 40th floor of London's The Shard had a bit of a surprise over the weekend. Plus, will NASA's Artemis 1 ever reach the moon? Let's go to the ads. Whilst you're here, why not give us a rate and follow? Welcome back. LG is following in Samsung's footsteps and bringing NFTs to its smart TVs. The company's new NFT marketplace called LG Art Lab lets you buy, sell and enjoy high quality digital artwork from your TV. For now, only users in the US with an LG TV that runs web OS 5.0 or later can access the app, which is available to download from the TV's home screen. Through the portal, you can buy and sell digital works made available through LG's NFT drops. The first one of these drops is planned for later this month. NASA's moon rocket had another dangerous fuel leak over the weekend, forcing them to call off their second attempt this week to get the Space Launch System vehicle to lift off. With a two-week launch blackout period looming in just a few days, the rocket is now grounded until at least late September or October. 
NASA will work around a high-priority SpaceX astronaut flight to the International Space Station scheduled for early October. And finally... A couple staying on the 40th floor of the Shard had a bit of a surprise over the weekend when a barefoot climber waved at them through the window. Earlier in the day, YouTuber and free climber Adam Lockwood shared a selfie on Facebook standing near the edge of the iconic 1,016-foot building. Lockwood has shared a number of escapades on his profile, including pictures at the top of Dubai's second tallest building, Marina 101, which measures 1,394 feet. Following the incident, the Metropolitan Police said a 21-year-old man had been arrested on suspicion of trespass. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast from the Evening Standard here in London. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.